Hey, do you like my background? What about now? It's awesome, but a bit too sharp. Let's give it a little bit of a blur, a vignette, some black bars. The black bars are too much, huh? Without the black bars. Okay, let's start the video. Is Brie Larson the future of the MCU? The question is, is Brie Larson just an act and can she replace Tony Stark in the MCU? If you are new here and like what you see, please consider to subscribe. You might have caught my error at the start where I asked the question if Brie Larson is able to replace Tony Stark and Yes, it was intentional, as I think the Brie Larson is a mega strong woman who can hold her own in between the Avengers actors, just a conscious decision on her part and just an act. I need to put here a disclaimer, I don't have any proof of my theory, therefore my video is just speculation. But hear me out and share with me in the comment section if you think something like this is possible. Back to my theory. I was thinking about everything that happened, uh, how we got to the movie Captain Marvel, my reasoning is that Marvel saw the reaction to Wonder Woman, basically they saw that uh, superhero movies with a female lead can also make a ton of money and decided why not replicate the success. This way they would have uh, a whole new avenue of movies they could make. But what would they need to succeed? Let's take Robert Downey Jr. and maybe Gal Gadot as a template and we will see if Marvel is succeeding or failing. What are the traits of Robert Downey Jr.? He's charming, witty, intelligent and a lot of fun on and off camera. But uh, that is his genuine personality and a lot of it shines through his performances or portrayal of the character Tony Stark. Sometimes it's hard to tell where Tony Stark ends and Robert Downey Jr. starts or the other way around if you like it. If you look at Gaga Do, she is uh, also very charming and funny. We can see it in a lot of her talk show appearances or behind the scenes footage of Wonder Woman. You can actually feel her chemistry with Chris Pine on and off set of Wonder Woman. She has something pristine about her which you can't fake even if you would tr really really try and we humans can pretty good tell apart when someone is just pretending or lying for that matter. If we now compare the Brie Larson media presence uh, with the one of Robert Downey Jr. and Gal Gadot, what do we see? As a human you would be hard pressed not to see that a lot of things on the press store for Avengers Endgame was off about her, other cast members ignoring her, she trying to impose her female strength on others. Uh, it even went so far that uh, Dan Chito, uh, who plays War Machine, didn't want to be touched by her in an interview. Then Jeremy Rayner being totally absent and annoyed by her gender politics in another interview. It all started with the running up to the release of Captain Marvel and the start of Brie Larson's gender politics which really polarized the fan base with her call that uh, this movie is just for women, that she does not want to see any white males in the audience. It was also very curious that the marketing of the movie was very much geared towards female emancipation and to further the strength of young women. And there is nothing wrong with that if Brie Larson wouldn't have tried to alienate one of the biggest parts of the comic book fandom, which are white males. Why did they do that? That is just something we can speculate about. Was it a decision made by Marvel and Brie Larson? Do you think in a world where a studio boss like Kevin Feige, who runs a really tight ship, that there is someone who can step so much out of line like Brie Larson did with the push of her own gender politics? Or was it a coordinated thing from Marvel and a new angle on movie marketing? 
marketing. So the question is, did Marvel and Kevin Feige coordinate the marketing for the movie and Brie Larson's gender politics push? Was everything just a long-term marketing plan? From various comments we know that Captain Marvel should be the lead in phase 4 of the MCU or be built up to the lead taking over from Robert Downey Jr. But is she really capable of doing so? Don't forget to click the round icon to subscribe and become part of Team Awesome and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.